Hi everyone, welcome to the Ready Up Monday stream, I guess. Uh, normally, or recently anyway, we've been playing uh, XCOM 2 with Susan and we've been guiding the hapless band of survivors through that. Uh, but Susan's on a wee holiday. Uh, so you're getting me playing some uh, 1001 Spikes. Uh, joining me is Ready Up writer Stuart. Hello. Hey. Uh, no, you weren't here for the first stream I did of this, Stuart. No, I have literally, my sum total of interaction with this is about watching one minute of somebody else's Let's Play. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, uh, so far, um, I mean, I like a bit of a bit, a bit of NES-style masochism. I grew up with that. Um, and so far, I've been trying to... Oh god, the audio is very loud. I should check. <laughs> uh, volume mixer, let's drop you down a touch game it's about 18 i'll do for the moment uh yeah it's uh as you go through you can sort of um uh there are these golden skulls to collect per level and you can still finish the level okay. without collecting them right right yeah. uh, but so far i've been trying to collect them uh, apparently I've missed one on the beginning stage and a sort of transitional loading stage, but all the actual levels I've collected a gold skull on. Uh, I might go back to those early stages and see where I missed those. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I guess that's kind of... Like, you would look at that golden skull thing as kind of a game line coming mechanic anyway, yep. so yeah, I think there'd probably be value in it. Music's pretty good in this game. Alright, we got a little tutorial mice here from before. Tutorial mice are adorable. Of course. Alright, is that a push or is there a double jump? Alright, that's big. Okay, I don't know what's next. Alright, there's two jumps, yeah. This is gonna go well. <laughs> Like, at, th at this point, is there any, like, damage on, like, throwing lives away? Uh, not really. Try going off the left. Yeah, yeah, I guess it could be. The icon is like, weird be... for the, the skull, though. That's why I probably came through this level, but no, there's no skull. The icon I know, but my theory would be, like, I don't know. Let's see if the camera goes... I appreciate, wop, wop, wop. I, appreciate, I appreciate the idea. Um, no, the, based on what I've seen so far, I see no evidence that there is actually a skull in this level. That would be, like, genuinely sadistic. You've got me looking at it now and thinking, like, where it could be. <laughs> like, go. there was a tiny, there's a tiny gap in, like, the tree line at the top, and I'm like, maybe, maybe there. Alright, I'm gonna assume there isn't one there on the uh, the transitional level and the... Although, 1-6. One 1-6, six. One six, bridge to Wampa. Let's have a look right here. Maybe I've missed something. Um, don't see anything happening in the chat. I wonder if it's because nothing is happening in the chat. <laughs> Probably likely. I mean, it can happen. Okay. What are you saying, Fancy? So, is this like the beginning to beginning levels of the game? Yeah, I, like well, the... that was there. Uh, I got a little bit further on on stream before I started getting towards the truly masochistic stuff. Um, Cause like so far this doesn't look like that bad. Oh, you've not seen the game. You've only seen. The game. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm tempting fate. I'm tempting fate. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see the game in a second. Okay. Yeah, this this looks more like what I was expecting. Yeah. Yep. Squish. I've got I've got uh, a capper son. We should start a death counter just just for tonight. Uh, <laughs> One death. I 
will say I managed to get enough lives back. Alright, okay, so there's a pattern there. There's just spikes in there. <laughs> That's three. Yeah, you weren't here, for, as I say, you weren't here for the last stream, so, like, this is completely normal tactic for this game at this point. There's spikes there. Okay. So I'm using that. Sometimes uh, spikes shoot out of the. Uh, Arrows shoot out of these statue faces, which is why I was shooting okay. at to, to deflect the arrow. Alright, so the key is all the way down there. We've got two scorpions that want to avoid. Oh. I'm getting a little bit of slowdown. I wonder if the engine's struggling with me also streaming and also streaming again to you. <laughs> I could be checking a little bit. But it's. it's if anyone is in the chat at all, uh, please give us some audio feedback, that'd be great, thank you. Uh, okay, so I'm going to want to trigger this, land on the left, maybe hit the space. <laughs> that, was, that was smooth. Oh, I can hit those back. I can't destroy them, but I can knock them away. So something like I'm already finding interesting about the design is like because it's very reminiscent of that whole Super Meat Boy. I want to yes. be the guy thing. The tight, the controls are extremely tight. If I make a mistake, it's usually my fault. <laughs> See, that's what I was going to say. It's actually much slower. So like it's it is it, very, yeah, it's it's quite this. It, it only really goes into Twitch territory when you're trying to do a particular sequence of events. Yeah, exactly. Attention to the floor because there's almost certainly going to be a set of spikes on these floors. On this floor, so <laughs> screw with me like that. Yep. I have faith in you. Go for it, Scott. Go, 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 go. Oh no, smush. Hard luck there. Yeah. I'm just running at this point. I'll go back to the station. <laughs> Sometimes you need to do that. And get... One of the things actually, it reminds me of um, Hotline Miami, where your best runs were always the ones where you lost patience. Yeah. Uh, I refuse Hotline Miami for radio. Yeah? Yep. Uh, former radio editor Dan. Sent me an email saying, "Well, oh, this is getting good reviews at like Eurogamer and stuff. Do you want to take a look?" I was like, "Okay." Took a, uh, like, well, grabbed the code for it uh, and uh, knocked out, knocked it out in like two sittings. Uh, yeah, I, I took ages on that game myself. Like, I took like. I, I sort of had the advantage of only playing it in like one hour blocks because I played it at work. Right. Yeah. Um. So I kind of. One of the things I liked about it is that the levels are very everything parcel very, sized. They're very uh, yes, everything the in design, the level design is very intentional. Yeah, and it kind of it's it's got a very nice sort of flow. So 
all about experimentation at this stage, though. Yeah. There seems to be a real thing for this sort of... There seems to be kind of an area that games are moving in, in a really major way, because... I think it sort of stems from, like, the Dark Souls thing, and Dark Souls sort of gradually showing itself to be a hit. Yes. And I think that sort of redefined how the industry is looking at difficulty. Yeah. Oh, okay, if I hit it again, it comes close back on itself. Oh. <laughs> that seems unfair. Yeah, I should have gone for It's every two. Um, yeah, we're not getting any activity in the chat. I'm going to see if we've got any viewers. One second. Are we just that unpopular today? Wow. Let's see, we have... I guess. We have one viewers. With an nice. S, according to the stats here, which is funny. Uh, can always count. Can always count on the internet for that. Oh well. They want to play this regardless at some point. So. Yeah, I mean. Plus, you know, every every push room goes in the archive, right? Yeah. So, it's for it's for people who are watching this on Later. archive once yeah. we're rich and famous. Yep. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> trying to see the origin of their careers. Yeah, yeah. Check that. Uh, Take that, rooster teeth, giant ball. <laughs> yes, yes. One day our names will be spoken of with such reference. And you in the future are looking back at this. That was, I, I, did big I, was, no, I was. I was rooting for you there. That was just. That was just the. I did big jump and still won't jump. It's always that sort of thing, isn't it? You're just like, God damn it, fingers. Why have you failed? This me? really isn't that bad, honestly. Some of the stuff I had to do towards the end of the last world was probably worse. This is an error yeah. level in this world. I, I eagerly look forward to seeing the later ones because this is a bastard. Just gonna have patience. I have a lot of patience. I have a bad temper, but I have a lot of patience before that. <laughs> well, I suppose that's a good combination, I guess. Oh, that oh was, yeah. That was, oh, oh, that was so close. I forgot I was worried about the one on the left coming back on me because it does do that, and also I didn't pay attention there. Uh, also, I need to update Swiss. our follower goal, because a thousand might be a bit ambitious. Yeah, I was. I, two, I think 250, 250 was a be, good candidate. Yeah, 250, that sort of area. Because it's, it's, it's bigger than, it's a bigger increment than from 50 to the, then for then from 100 zero to, to 100. 200, yeah, it's more than just a scene increment. Yeah. Uh, but it's, uh, it seems more viable. Boink. Boink. I'm so rooting for you, just to... Go, Scott, go. Go. Alright, so we've got to figure out spikes again. Oh, fuck. Big. Yeah, I totally forgot this part was even here. <laughs> Done. I'm gonna watch out for any wall traps here. This is a nasty one. I'm gonna have to do a short jump over to the middle. Again. Oh, well done. Smoothly handled. Short jump. Big jump. Oh! oh. New spikes. Buddy. Right. 
this part now, you're just like, soon. Fucking get through it. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's convenient. Sounds good on the microphone. Are you taking the celebratory Capra Sun? I am. Nice. It's always I time for a celebratory Capra Sun. Alright, we've got a box, we've got skulls right there, but we also have an arrow shooting at us immediately. We have to destroy that box to get past. Alright, got another arrow there. Yeah, I was gonna say that skull looks way too easy. So, like, is there a plot to this game? Yeah, there was. Alright. Let me think about this. Is this a gimme? There's gonna be a platform that comes over. Watching like super close to see if I can spot it for you. Nicely done. Alright. Awesome. We are one, we are gold sculled up. I'll probably lose 80 seconds, but... <laughs> Still though, somebody call 50 cent. <laughs> Where my skull at? I remember that game, yes. <laughs> I, I kind of loved that game, in a really weird way. Oh, no, I think you know. It's amazing how when you've done it like just once, you're sort of just like, okay, I get it. Yeah, well, it's, it's just a game mechanic. Like, you can infinitely learn these things. Um, I grew up with some, just, I grew up with C64 and NES, so like, this is, this is my bread and Okay. Just nasty games. Like, I, I, I beat Ninja Gaiden when I was a child and didn't realize it because it wasn't called Ninja Gaiden here. Oh, really? What was it called? Well, I actually don't know this. Uh, okay, so... Uh, oh, okay, yeah, alright. Then I'll have to trigger the right one. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, uh, it also happened with, uh, Shadow of the Ninja, another NES game, which is called Blue Shadow instead. Okay. Uh, and Ninja Gaiden is called Shadow Warriors in Europe. And it's the whole, uh, there's a weird ban, sort of, not a ban, but a sort of like discouraging of the word ninja in the 80s in Europe. Okay. Uh, most famously seen in TMNT. Uh, which, oh, that's right. Which here was known as Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Yeah, which is terrible. Uh, like, I grew up in Australia, and I remember when I came over here and seeing that they were called that, I was like, that's really bad. Yeah, so that's, uh... Uh... We had that for a minute, basically. Um... So, 
so yeah, I'd, I'd beaten Ninja Gaiden when I was a child and didn't know it was Ninja Gaiden because it was called something else for me. Uh, and then years later, I heard the legends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an interesting shortcut. Although it's no use for it. Yeah. Yeah, that went well. Oh, oh. <laughs> you really got it. You really want me to do that game? Okay. Alright, it wants me to trek back up. Or... Mm. This, this seems yeah. excessively difficult. Whatever, at this point, that's this game. Uh... <laughs> I take it you can't make it over to that I jump. Don't. I can't. Alright, I was checking for that as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like the lines of an hour for it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even realize that was a potential thing you could do. Uh, yeah. Um, I actually might be able to make that jump. Uh, it might just land on the last pixel. Uh, but it was yeah, like, it, very like, tight, it looked though. like you were. It looked like you were about to get the. See, I was going to ask if you thought if you thought you could do that. I can. I just take the person. Uh, the music's actually really awesome once you trigger the key. It does a like sped up version of the main theme. I actually can't hear the music. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was uh, describing. Oh. <laughs> I've, I have had the same issue. Uh, with <laughs> I wish I could hear this game. Uh, <laughs> I was like, well, thank you for telling me how yep. great the thing I can't hear is. Yep. <laughs> Just so you know, pretty good. <laughs> I want to see if I can make the jump on its own. Um, I'm gonna just, maybe? I'm going to do it the correct way, which is clearly to drop the thing down. Yeah. Tell you what, this is getting me psyched for going back to Bloodborne once I've finished with this stream. Nice. Uh, whereabouts are you? I am actually literally at um, Mergo's Wet Nurse for the first time. Is this an and it's the first Souls game. Uh, no, no, this is um, basically I'm at the. Uh... Do you know how Bloodborne ends with you making. Uh, oh, yeah, decision? let's not go into that on stream. I'm, yeah, I know. I'm very fair, favorably anti-spoiler when it comes to everything because I play a lot of old games and I even don't like spoiling old games. Like, I legitimately have a friend who's into games who doesn't mm -hmm. know what happens in Final Fantasy VII. They what? legitimately don't know that twist. Oh my god. So I'm like, I, you don't think they exist, but they do. Those people totally do and you sh I, I don't think you should ever spoil things for them. But no, I understand what you mean now with where you're on. Yeah. That was that. I wasn't really gonna say anything more than that because I am kind of with you about spoilers. Yeah. I feel like spoilers is something that should be always optional. Like you should always yeah. have the choice. Yes, absolutely. Like, there are people who it doesn't matter to, and that's that's cool. It doesn't matter to you. That's fine. But I mean, when for me, like I I avoided I avoided Bloodborne spoilers basically until I was about an hour from the ending. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, okay, so it's not going to make any more sense within the next hour. So, <laughs> better go online and find out that's, what's that's going on. That's a fair on. action concept Souls game, yeah. 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 I mean, at that point, I was like, well, I'm not going to spoil it. This is clearly the ending of the game. Yep. Alright, I'm going to trigger one of those. And then, once I'm talking to 
flame on. Uh, it's not gonna make that. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do it. There, is there? Is it possible to make like a? Oh. Well, that works. Uh, this is gonna destroy this box. I'm gonna have to destroy the box because there's a pair yeah, of spikes. Yeah, there's some spikes. Just wanna say, by the way, I told, it. I told you you could make that jump. I, I could, it was just really tight. Uh. Okay. Two. 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 Oh! Oh! I was in this chat just now, and I just throw in the boo this man here. Yeah. Go ahead and paste something in the chat, it'll pop up on the stream. Because I've got it on the overlay. If you want, you don't have to. Mm, let's see if I can go on the chat without my connection freaking out. That's fair. We are doing quite well. Seeing how my connection holds up okay. with the chat running for a while, and I'll start posting random gifts in it. Because that is the contribution I bring to things. <laughs> oh. You bring you bring your winning personality, sure, and your back. I have I, I, my winning personality is often expressible through gifts. It's like a primary method of communication. For me. I guess we're finding out if I can do this jump again. Nicely done, by the way. Sorry, I was, I've, stopped, I've stopped hunting for gifts and started watching that. <laughs> I'm glad it's in girls again. Too early. Didn't pull up quick enough, yeah. <laughs> There's always that one kill, right? Like. Just after you're like you're struggling with something really, really hard in one of these games, and then you get killed, and you restart, and point, yeah. first thing is just like you're like, I don't care, I'm just gonna blaze it, and then immediately die. Okay. 
we have any questions from our millions of viewers? Let's see how many millions of viewers we have. That would be oh. me. Yay! I'll take it. <laughs> I can see a gift. That'll do. Yes. See, Twitch, there's activity in our stream. How many stages to a world usually? Uh, let's have a look at uh, it. There's about five or six per world, and I'm on three five now. Okay, so you're on the penultimate stage of this world. I think so. There's no way for me to tell 100%. I decided to run off there and check if there's something in there. Well, weren't there weren't there marks on the world map? Uh, yeah, it looked like it. It, it did look like this. Can I write those? No, I can't write those. Okay. <laughs> so we're checking. I'll just go up there and let us kill it. Well, that first one might be the best time to get past it as well. Mm, yeah, because it looks like it gets harder as it goes on. Or you could, like, wait until all of them are gone past. Skull first. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. It's probably inside that. Yeah, it must be in something destroyed. Mm. Yeah, because for a second there, this game was feeling too easy. Yeah. <laughs> also, I think you're supposed to be more intimidated by the boulders than I am. I'm just, I'm just like screw it. Just jump in. Yeah, yeah, you are kind of, you are kind of nailing these boulders. I really like the kind of Indiana Jonesy aesthetic. Yes, they've, they've committed to, to that. Mind you, every, yeah. everything since Spelunky has kind of done that as well. I know, but this is kind of... It does feel like there's a lot more sort of a whole plot, re whole sort of aesthetic reference to Indiana Jones yeah. than even than you get in Spelunky. Uh, the, uh, the intro is also quite... Like the storyboard. Uh, I'm gonna assume that Skull is revealed by the switch to the left over there. No, it's not a Skull. Nah, that was a... This seems like it could be good or bad. I feel like all I've done is turn on more spikes. <laughs> I wonder what's behind this door. Oh, more death. Good. Also, uh, For a I, think, second there. I think that switch was necessary. What I think it's done is remove the two transparent-ish blocks in the bottom left there, which I need there. to make the jump of one. If I hadn't removed those, Alright. 
Let's watch the sequence of the whole course. Three, three spikes. Two. I also still haven't found the skill though, which is interesting. Probably. Um, you, said, well, you said you thought it would be revealed by something indestructible, right? Yeah, I might need to do some tests over there and start attacking things. Actually, I think I know where it is. I think it's that block. Yeah? What block? Uh, it was on the left of the back. Because it's the only reason to go left still. Uh, at, at that point, before we're turning up, towards it? Yeah. Well, it took a lot to resist, that's what she said. Yeah. It is 20 to 9. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go for at least until the next world. Yep, okay. And then I may have to shoot off and see if I can finish Bloodborne after okay, getting it like six DLC, months ago. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I believe I have. Um, but I can't remember and I don't want to look at it yet. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, it's like it's like having it's like having a it's like having a Christmas card that you haven't checked inside. <laughs> yeah. You're sure. like maybe. <laughs> I have I have heard about it though, and it's, like it's, it sounds really cool. It's good DLC. It's one of the better DLC packs of the sort. See, like I'm actually kind of. A bit frustrated that I've gotten to the end of the game and I haven't really tried out many of the other uh, weapons. Like I only just started using the um, the Kirk hammer. Oh, that does switch those two as well. Which is uh, yes, the Kirk hammer is pretty cool. Uh, I like the Tarantus. Tarantus, I think. Yeah, it's like a electricity. The yeah, the electricity mace, which is quite a cool weapon to be honest. Sacrifice, uh, sacrificing a lot of durability to get it into its power state, but it's very useful for bosses. Yeah, but repair costs, even even towards the end of the game, yeah. repair costs aren't out that high. Right so. Yeah. Really, wow. the only disadvantage okay. of. Wow. Mr. Scorpion. That was harsh. Yeah, that one as well. Alright. I just need to be able to patient. These scorpions have turned on you, man. Yeah, that's it. They're starting to remember. Unfollowed. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, the DLC for that game is highly recommended. It's very good. And it introduces another, like, six weapons or something. Yeah. Including one, which is a massive uh, Souls reference. Yeah. This is actually this is actually the first Souls game I played. Oh well, then you. Um, I kind of held off for. Well, so I mean, a, I'll still find out about it online. There's a really excellent uh, video on YouTube. It's like a two-hour analysis video. And oh yeah. It basically explains. It's nothing to do with story. There are lots of those. Uh, this is more of a gameplay mechanics analysis. 
Oh, really? That um, sounds fascinating. What's it called? And, uh, it basically explains why Bloodborne is the best game to start with. Because it's the only Souls game that teaches you not to use a shield. Uh, and yeah. all the high-end play in other Souls games usually involves not using a shield. Because early on, especially in those games, and it's still a totally viable strategy and I will stand by it, but uh, other Souls games very much encourage turtling with a shield. Yeah. Uh, and this guy makes the argument that playing without a shield, even in old Souls games, is more fun. Or at least more rewarding, maybe not more fun. It's more rewarding, more fun than you, than you value that. Um, so it's a. Uh, the, the fact that Bloodborne teaches you from the outset that shields are like, it's like, haha, the only shield in Bloodborne is a joke. It's literally a joke shield. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Although so, apparently isn't isn't there isn't there one that the DLC had that, that apparently slightly, doesn't completely sucks. It's one that's slightly passable in the DLC, but still not. Still not gonna lie. Alright, hang on, I'm gonna yeah. figure out some time here. Oh, ah! that did work. Oh! He came in over? Oh no! Oh well, I think I've got it. That was, that was a literal tragedy. Yeah. You can see why I have the patience for Souls games. <laughs> like, I've, I've finished them all over. Not really. Like, Souls games aren't particularly quote unquote hard. They just require a lot of patience. Yeah, well, I mean, like. I always feel like Souls games are slightly... I mean, at least based on Bloodborne, I feel like they're slightly misrepresented by their Yeah, whole, I know, it's because... The hard reputation. Also, the hard reputation comes a lot from Demons. Because Demons is super unfair at the beginning. Demons yeah. being the first game in the series. No, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, um, I mean... It's also one of my favourites. One of my favourites. I don't know if it's a yeah, but. Or is it unfair in the sort of the sense that I think see I think the thing at least based on Bloodborne the thing that makes it work is that the mechanics actually feel really janky when you start playing and then when uh, but then like once you've played for a, a, the few hours that you need to actually get your head around it you start to realize that there's really nothing else they could be yes like I remember thinking when I started Bloodborne that attacking with the right trigger was insane I was completely different to what I was used to playing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is this is mad, why would you... Um, and then, but like, a couple of hours later, I was like, no, no, I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> like, you could not do this any other way. Yeah. The divide between light and heavy attack in that game is quite And like, the multiple weapon types, which I think doesn't like, register even, didn't even register in with me until that 15 hours in. Yeah. The benefit of the different weapon type, of uh, the different weapon modes. So what's interesting about that versus other Souls games is um, there are far fewer weapons in Bloodborne, but they all mm. are unique, basically. Whereas there's a lot more in a typical Souls game, but they tend to repeat uh, the base type and then just sort of tweak the animation speed of certain attacks and things. Okay. So, I mean, so PvPers generally prefer Souls games because there's a lot more build diversity. Um, mm, yes, it was it makes sense. Uh, but you know, you've got to give it to Bloodborne for making every weapon unique. So uh, it's yeah. It's too, I think that's kind of the thing with me. Like, design, yeah. like very rarely, I find it very rare to go back and feel like I want to complete a game again. Yeah. And a game like Bloodborne, I genuinely, when I started out, didn't think I'd want to go back and play it again. Yeah. But having now found out the level of lore I missed on the way through, but also how many of the weapons I just didn't try and just sold for more echoes. You basically, you, you basically will require three and a bit playthroughs to get all the story. Yeah, pretty, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm expecting. And that's with the fact that, yeah, like I already spoiled myself for it. Yeah.
this is the super tense one. Yeah, so that's good. If you tend, if you psych yourself up too much, then you get really angry. Uh, I'm trying to psych up the audience, man. I'm trying to give you like wrestling announcers. Oh, 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 did you see uh, that? Yeah, There's yeah, a space that was that was unfortunate. So you can't even stand there at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like no, you are going. plans to go try out the other Souls games after this? Uh, I mean, that's the thing. I'm debating whether or not... Like, if I start another Bloodborne playthrough, then I'm probably going to be quite that. a while before I... Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if I, I want to, though. Because part of me does want to try the, the Souls game now. Because I was kind of... I've always been a bit against them. I've never really been terribly drawn to them. Like, I didn't like the aesthetic. Um, at the time, I didn't really like the approach to narrative, although I've come around to it a bit more, yeah. having seen it being used to tell a story that I actually enjoy. Yes. Like, the thing is, I don't really find Dark Souls' sort of medieval world that compelling, whereas yeah. I found, the like, Yarnum instantly. In Bloodborne is quite interesting. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, that's actually up my alley, so I've been able to explore that type of game yeah. being used to tell the sort of story I would normally read. But I think having now done that, I might go back to Dark Souls. Yeah. So in terms of what I think is the best Souls game, it's either Bloodborne or Dark 1. Uh, but Dark, Dark 2, Dark 3, and Demons. And Demons might be my favourite, but not objectively, I think, I think the best one. Right. Uh, but I think that probably Dark 1 is best one. Although some people would argue certain aspects of 3 and 2. People, generally 2 is considered a black sheep, but I think 2 has a lot going for it. And you just gotta... I, have, I have a friend who considers 2 to be her favourite. Yeah. 2 um... is sort of by the community considered a sort of black sheep, but it's a shame because, especially the Sins of the Scholar re-release, uh, which bundled the DLC and everything into one package, uh, that is pretty See, it's always going to be difficult for a game like Dark Souls to to get uh, really um, positive praise because it's going, it's following something that nobody expected to be a success. It's following something that was like a shot, sort of in the air. Yeah. Like Demon Souls had kind of worked, and so they were like, right, well, we're going to try this now, and we're going to go for it relatively full hog, and gradually it built up. And there is no way, no matter how good it is, for Dark Souls Two to live up to that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The, the, th the big thing about Dark, to remember, is Dark was multi-platform. Demons was not. Demons was a PS3 exclusive. Mm. That's th that is partly the, the reason for the explosion of Dark. The other reason being that its uh, structure is possibly more inviting to a lot of people. Dark uh, Demons, while there are still some Metroidvania aspects, Dark is the one that became a sort of true Metroidvania. Metroidvania. Uh, mm. One more sort of continued that that pattern. Um, the, they're actually, Demons actually has levels. Uh, yeah, I heard about that. Like, uh, But they, they're huge though. They're kind of basically just the same thing as they just cut up Dark into, instead of warping to certain places, you're kind of just going back to the hub in, in, uh, in Demons. Yeah, but even already, that's already my least favourite thing about Bloodborne. Yeah. Like, and that like might a, only be because I missed I missed the bad loading times, so that wasn't <laughs> I didn't even have it as bad as some people did. Yeah. Um, but hey, yeah, having to go back to the hunter's dream is by far and away the worst feature of Bloodborne. The, the central hub, yeah, uh, yeah. It is, so yeah, it's weird. Bloodborne's got a bit. It, well, it has an interconnected open world, a la Dark. Uh, it has the central hub, a la Demons. Uh, so. A bit of both, actually. Uh, I don't see mm. a skull in here, but I do see a key. You got a lost artifact. The key of the peddler. Key of the peddler. Doesn't sound great. Like, I'm not that psyched about that artifact, to be honest. And I'm now 1,071 lives. 
Now, see, there's a grey skull flashing there, like, hey, you missed yep. the skull, but there was no skull icon in the level. Maybe, yeah. again, maybe it was destroyable. Well, this looks bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Yes, because nobody's ever had problems with time. Yeah. Uh, the... I'm basically just keeping an eye out for the gold skull at this point. But no, it's not too bad. It's really just this bit. It's a, it's a nice touch to sort of use those as a bit. Those are they behave a bit more particularly than they could in the game. Yes. The game that this game yeah, is trying to emulate. It's, it's a nice little effect. It's doing that sort of, I, I was, I can't remember what it was that I read it in, it might have been in someone's review of Shovel Knight. They were pointing out that the best kind of retro games are the games that play like you remember those Yes, I've, I've heard that expression. Um, rather than actually adhering to the actual limitations of what the possible is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, Shovel Knight is very close in some ways to the NES's, NES's limitations, but it does break quite a few of them. For a start, mm. it runs in a white screen, and that's big issue. Uh, yeah. But uh, in terms of color palette and things, that's the second one. Cross. Second. Cross. Where are you, Scully? In there? Where's my skull at? Uh, Where's my skull at? Prediction, there will be spikes. Oh, prediction inaccurate. Is that in groups of two as well? Yes, it is. One. Yeah, there's two there. There they are. Told you there would be spikes. Somewhere. Farming equivalent of the double tap. Yeah, Disabling the fireballs might be a little ambitious. So I guess that's the new gimmick for this world. Fire. Has there been a snakes level yet? I want to say there might have been snakes early on, but I have kind of forgotten this one. <laughs> I like how your guy just properly cartoon turns into oh, yeah, a cinder crisp. Oh yeah, he is toast. Mmm, that looks delicious. I'll take mine rare. Toast. 
Yeah, maybe. Why are the nuclear weapons? Uh, that was a Matt Berry reference. Yeah, I was wondering. Perhaps you lost me. Yeah, uh, Toast of London was a very strange sitcom. It ran for two series, I think. Or three series, I think. Or maybe a fourth one. Uh, written by Matt Berry and Arthur Matthews, who was one of the writing Jim Bittin' Falt Dead. Uh, and it's super super strange and surreal. It's about uh, an actor in London played by Matt Berry, who's basically a failing actor always looking for any job he can get. Uh, and he basically plays Matt Berry. <laughs> okay. Hey, we got someone! Welcome, Wilson, to the 1001 Spike stream. You're our only viewer. <laughs> well, other than Stuart. Uh, but thank you for... And you have, you have chosen to join us. Quite a bit on, but never mind. I'm happy you're here. Uh, we'll go for a little bit longer since you're here, Wilson. Wasn't Wilson the name of um the, the volleyball? Wasn't it wasn't the guy who lived over the fence in Home Improvement? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, yeah the, the guy you never see. Yep. Uh, uh, this one's for this. This. Links. You're cutting out a little bit there, Stuart. Happy to be here. Love me some 1001 spikes. Thank you, Wilson. I think I have pretty solid patience. Alright, so that's clearly going to fire an arrow out at the bottom there. So I'm going to have to hit this. Run after a set two. Oh, yeah, we got some good music for this remix. Hmm? Because we, we got some solid stuff going on for this remix. Okay. For the Get the Key remix that plays at the end of the level. Are you raving about the soundtrack I can't hear again? Yes, I am. Uh, I'm gonna have, I've gotta have something to push me through this. Other than of course your company. Which I appreciate. Um Alright, I'm gonna have to fall, hit the switch, hit that brick to the left. Because that'll definitely be where the gold knight idol is. You see that wayward brick that's sort of hanging off? Uh I think so. It'd be like directly below me. That that brick will probably have the idol in it. Also, Tiki Tiki statue bottom left is gonna fire now. It's almost certain. So there's quite a sequence of events here to fight against. I think he means timing? I assume he means timing, and I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I grew up with uh, a Commodore 64 and, a, and, a, and an NES. So I'm generally okay at uh, sort of Twitch based platform racing. So. At least the competent, usually. I, I think I probably would have. My death counter would have numbered in about the 52 millions by now. <laughs> Susan was a. Uh, Mm, I, I honestly, like after 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 an hour, I'm just like, this is above my skill grade. Oh, I, see, I see it as a challenge. I see it as a. Uh, my bad. Meant to say game. You're very good at the game. Oh, thank you. Huh. That's uh, very sweet. I'm okay. I'm all right. Uh, I'm trying to mostly be completionist all the way through, and get all the skills as I go. Although apparently I've missed the ones on the transitional level, so I need to go back and double check those. There's probably a missing brick or something. 
Will I be a heathen if I tell you the internet contains the answer? I don't want the answer. Uh, I don't want the answer if I want the answer. Well, thank you anyway. Uh, wasn't really paying attention. So does this game have boss fights or just escalating challenges? I think it's just escalating challenges. Wilson says, I will say, I think this game contains the hardest the level I've ever played in a 2D platformer. Nice, I'll look forward to that, Wilson. Yeah, as I say, I just see it as, uh, like, you make it incredibly hard, and I'm just like, okay, uh, I need to do this now, because there's something wrong with me. <laughs> Allow me to bash my head against the problem yeah. for the next 12 years? Yeah. I have a copy of Super Meat Boy on my old Xbox 360 that's uh, at my partner's house, and whenever I'm over there, there's a, I'll, I'll just play like an ed a level of Super Meat Boy, push it a little bit forward, and I'm like, one day, years from now, I will finish you Super <laughs> you Meat Boy. Have Super Meat Boy. One day I will get to the end. I have, I believe that there is an end. Yeah. Well, you do have the superior version of Super Meat Boy. The original soundtrack version. Yeah. Uh, Basically, the no, I did. Boy fell out with his composer. Oh, that's a shame. And all subsequent releases. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, if you're watching it, whatever your name is, uh, I may have just distilled the situation down just a touch there. Mm, um, yeah, yeah, plausible deniability established. Yes. Tell me to gossip. Yeah. Uh, but no, he basically fell out with his composer. All subsequent re releases of this for me, boy, passed the steam version. So thankfully, the steam version. But let's say, like, all the PS3, PS4 version, Vita version, Wii U version, they all have yeah. the original soundtrack. And it's not bad, it's just not that original soundtrack. No, and, like, I can't imagine playing that without Daniel Bryan. That soundtrack, soundtrack is so integral to the sort of pace of that game. It's very fun. fun yes, fun. absolutely. I actually, um, I actually used to hang about on the OC Remix forums where Daniel Baranowski got started off. Oh yeah, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember him being like insanely talented even like back then. He's uh, like the two that I, I go towards when it comes to the OC Remix community are are Danny B uh, and Jake Kaufman, aka Vert. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know if Vert is still... Vert, 15 years ago, was not a nice guy. Was he not? Oh, I don't know anything about him personally. I just know, well... I just know about his uh, his work on Double Dragon Neon and DuckTales Remastered. I always liked his work. I always thought his work was fantastic. And Shovel Knight. Um, but so, he does... He, he suffers from that thing of, like, not every composer is a person you would necessarily like to... Hang around with. Oops, I fell. This thing killed me. Uh, yes, that's true of any artist. So I, I cannot judge any of these people personally. No, of course. And I can, even even I can only judge them by like their web form personality about 15 years ago. So yeah. <laughs> take Let's everything be honest, I might be saying. All of us 15 thought. years ago probably weren't the greatest people. Yeah, I can't imagine. I I wouldn't want any of my stuff from back then trod though, So. Oh yeah, because I've destroyed that block, I can't do that job anymore. Alright, okay, so if you do fall down, you fall down. Okay, interesting. But 
yeah, they're the, they're the kind of two that I kind of remember. I mean, that was, a, in general, a really good website. There were a lot of really talented people working there. Yeah. Um, I remember um, I, I wrote up for Ready Up recently a review of um, Clank, yes. which, while I wasn't a very big fan of the game itself, the soundtrack was done by uh, a guy called Blind, okay. who also used to work on the OC Remix stuff uh, back in the day. And he's his, his soundtrack for that game almost makes me wish I liked it. Like, <laughs> Almost wish makes you wish she was your genre. Oh, oh yeah, no. It's, it's, that a, game... it's just a Dynasty Warriors clone, right? No, no. Or it's just... a visual novel. I can't remember. Oh no, it's um, it's trying to. It's basically it's trying to be a platformer that's also a rhythm action game. Oh okay. That's not Which the game I think that was. Mm. See, that sounds like a really cool idea, right? Yep. Except it just takes all of the mechanics that don't go together from those two genres and just tries really hard to make them work. Yeah. Like a lot of the rhythm sequences are um, based on like you're attacking, so your your move your platforming is basically not in sync with the music, but your attacks are. Is this the one that Susan was playing on stream? Might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah she did tell me that she streamed it yeah. at one point. I was totally there for that stream, and I've just realised what you're talking about. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I thought it was a very cool idea. Uh, and, well, we actually had the developers pop in, which was really nice. Oh, yeah? I'd love to talk to them. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, sure sure they'd, I'm sure they'd be delighted to talk to me. That was too cheeky there. Uh, you, you never know. Developers appreciate uh, real critique. Yeah, and I, that, that, was the, that that is the thing, like... As long as you're not just the saying, oh, your game's bad. Yeah, no, see, that's the thing. The ideas in their game were really, really interesting. Yeah. Like, really, really cool. Um, and I just kind of, I wasn't really happy with the implementation of them. But I would love to see them make another game. Like, yeah, if, if, yeah. They, if I, if, if there's a Clang 2, then, like, I'm probably going to pick up a copy. Because I do really want to see the idea work. Yeah? Because uh, that's a solid hour and whatever by that point, I'm just guessing that. Yeah, I'd say so. Also, it looks like this could, like this level could end in like two minutes, or it looks like it could end like 12 years from now. Yes, so it really just depends on how long. <laughs> so that's a set of two, wait for the set of two. Still watching Wilson, and you're enjoying this? Please give us a follow. Your name will pop up on the on our follower account in the top in the right-hand corner of the screen there. Three and more. also, we'll say hi and yell out your name and we'll stuff. We'll also yell out your name. Uh, again, you're uh, <laughs> I will. I will yell a quotation of your choice. Ah, there you go. All right. Basically, frame perfect. Oh, there's somebody else. Oh, hello. Hi, Trinit. Who I pronounced his name as Trinant for years, but it's Trinant. I was gonna go Trinant. I'm glad you warned me. Yep. Uh, welcome to the stream, Trinant. Always happy to have backloggery people here. Much yelling. Yes. Uh, well, some yelling. Some yelling. <laughs> It's pronounced Trinant. What? You realize that doing that via text is not helpful at all. <laughs> like, are we pronouncing it right when we say Trinant? I'm pretty sure Suspense. I used to pronounce it Trinant and then you said no, don't pronounce it Trinant. I'm so excited to know the answer to this now. I get really excited about random trivia. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I typed it. Ah! Is it, by any chance, Trinant, is it pronounced Troll? <laughs> I just, 
<laughs> so that that would be a yes then. Yeah, I just I honestly just have it to be confusing. Fair enough, let me show Damn it, that's really tight. How did you know? I know, and you would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for us pesky kids. It's meddling kids and their dog. Was it meddling? I always thought it was pesky. I think it might switch between the shows. Maybe. There was about seven of them even before oh, the Oh god, yeah. Yeah, damn. They were all on Australian TV at the same time. <laughs> Australia didn't give a fuck what Scooby-Doo it was. It yep. was like, what's on? Scooby-Doo. Which one? Who cares? Who cares? It is sustenance in the form of Scooby-Doo. Hmm. Hey, we got a skull. Uh, and beaten. Meddling kids. Uh, did you say we've got a, a new sub? Uh, I don't know. I can't see if he's subscribed or not. Okay, sorry. I, I didn't know what you were saying. What did you say? Oh, I was talking to him. Uh, I was asking him about when he said meddling kids. And, okay, uh, he, he says it's, Well, I, as I say, I think it, it may vary per show. Uh, I can only hope this is nearing the end of the game because if it gets harder than this, good gosh. Uh, how many how many stages do you think you have left? Let's have a look at the map then. Uh, I'm a little over halfway. Oh fuck. Yep. Well, I eagerly await seeing what level you get to next. Check out one of these white spaces again. See if everything's still up. Skull. <laughs> Aha! Aha. Alright, something over here. But it's death. It's always death. It's all his death. So the one thing this game has taught me so far. There you go. Oh, it's a death and a skull. Ah, oh, it's okay, great. So there are skulls even in the levels where it doesn't show the icon. Okay, I need to go back and get those. I'll get those and then I'll finish up the street. Okay, cool. Sounds like a plan. But so you. since Trinant has said that uh, he's only picked that name. For, to troll people, shall we just decide for him well, that it's pronounced see, Trinant? I, for the longest time, it was Trinant to me, but I was corrected, so I'm going with Trinant now. Okay, so it's Trinant. Yes. All right. If you if you want to correct us, Trinant, you have to say now, <laughs> and I will screenshot it and keep it as proof. Uh, just to add to the insanity, this game now features a co-op mode, as you might have been able to discern from the icon in the top left. Uh, sorry, I missed that. What was that? I was saying, uh, this game now features uh, co-op, as you might have been able to discern from the icon in the top left. Yeah, I was, I was noticing that. I'm, I think I may look to see how much it costs. The co-op would be fun of this. I imagine it would be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. I imagine it would be hilarious for me. Yeah, yeah. But for anyone actually trying to beat the game, yeah, it'd be, it'd, that would be pretty funny. Um, mm. here, no? Do I fall at a certain point here? Alright, so that totally breaks apart. It's got to be one of these, surely. Like, one of these is actually broken, like that one of the ones up here. 
Oh, I'm in such suspense now. Oh. It's getting dramatic. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. All I'm missing now is the one on the first level. On the introduction. Hmm. Oh, I've unlocked Junie. Junie? Who's she from again? Uh, so, you can unlock a bunch of characters from uh, other indie games. And last okay. time, last stream, I unlocked Commander Video from the BitTrip series. Okay. Uh, Junie sounds familiar, but I can't quite place where she's from. Well, can we see her, like, can we see her image? Uh, I haven't actually played as any of the other characters. Uh, remind me when I've got the skill for this. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Okay, I just wasn't listening for it. Me. So Scott, remember to look for Junie. Okay, sure. Because you told good, me to remind you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> right, world map. All right, so we've got every gold skull up until the next level. Okay, cool. Uh, character select. Here we go. There's a bunch of question marks as you can see. Uh oh, from Knit. night stories. Yeah, night night Knit stories. Knit, night yeah, stories. Yeah, I'm not sure either, but I think I've got it in my Steam library, possibly. <laughs> Uh, uh, Tempura of the Dead from Tempura of the Dead and Commander Video from Bitrip Runner or Bitrip nice. Series. Cool. Nice. All right, guys. I think that's a good stopping point for tonight. But thank you for joining me. A shout out to Trinant Wilson and Stuart for staying here and keeping me company. Uh, we'll be streaming again at 8pm GMT on Friday for Casual Fridays. I'm not sure what it'll be, but it's likely to maybe be something multiplayer. Uh, I may or may not be the one streaming. Susan is currently on vacation, though, so on holiday, so um, probably won't be her. Uh, but yes, if you enjoyed the stream, please give us a follow, and I'll just kick us over to the goodbye screen right now. Uh, Bye. Thanks. Uh, and everyone have a great week. Uh, we'll catch you next time.